I'm Chloe, I'm an upper sixth pupil in Wimborne House and I'm drama people leader and I've been here since the Shells. I've been involved in the drama here since I joined in the Shells. Um, I've done lots of different productions varying from some plays to some musicals and I also did drama GCSE so some various different monologues and different different things. I'd say my favourite has probably been doing the musicals. Um, above all probably Into the Woods playing the witch was probably my favourite role. Um, Little Shop of Horrors and Dead Dog in a Suitcase was also really fun. Um, atmosphere with the cast and also the set was really cool as well. My role as drama pupil leader involves working with Mr Jackson and my other drama pupil leader, um, Johannes, to try and kind of just maximise what we can do here with drama and try and get as many people as involved as possible. So just thinking of different ideas that could be fun for the pupils and putting on stuff. Like one of the ideas we had was for potentially a script writing competition, which it was just really just about brainstorming different ideas and trying to come up with the best way to just generate fun in the drama department. I'd say just every time I am doing or finish a show, I just feel quite a, a wave of happiness and adrenaline you know, performing and also doing the rehearsals, you know, getting to know the cast really well. And then it's all just quite like a, a long term, but also so short because it's only typically two to four nights of actual show. So I think it's really, it's always fun getting to know everyone in the cast and also performing the show but it is quite sad when it comes to an end, but you do feel quite accomplished. I plan to go to uni. I'm not sure where yet because I haven't received all of my offers, but I'm hoping to study law with French and do a year abroad in France. In the Christmas term, we had um, Daniel Ings, who is an actor um, in, and he's currently in The Gentleman, uh, a Netflix series, if anyone has watched that. Um, and he came in and me and Johannes, the other drama people leader, we interviewed him and kind of asked him about his career, kind of what steps he'd taken to get there and where he was and just to get an, an overview of what life as an actor really is like because I feel it was quite important to have him in because a lot of people don't know really what the industry is like and it's quite good to hear verbatim from an actor who's in the industry what it's actually like. And there's a lot of passionate people at Campford who really do like drama and do want to act. So I just think it was quite important to hear him say that. Um, what I learned from it was the, the com kind of conversational style of, it was kind of a podcasty style interview. It was just us up on stage there with Mr. Jackson and Johannes, me and Daniel Ings, just basically having a bit of a chat in front of an audience. And everyone really enjoyed the talk, I think. it was. It gave us a little bit of an insight into what kind of steps you need to take to get there and that, you know, if you have a passion for drama, it can take you somewhere. I think Campford has prepared me for life beyond Campford by putting on different talks and conventions, for example, the Careers Convention, in which um, a lot of Campford parents who had various different careers um, came in and you could select who you'd wanted to speak to in particularly your career field. So for law, it was quite helpful to talk to a couple of lawyers um, and see what their advice would be for what I should be doing. Um, also just managing all of my different tasks, um, managing what I enjoy, so the leisure and the work. Um, I think Campford has generated quite a strong work ethic because it's a very busy place. So I think having to do all of that work as well as things like sport and drama and juggling it all will prepare me to for good time management um, and also just various talks to do with university life, gap year, student finance, things like that to try and prepare us for life beyond Camford, which they can't necessarily force and direct us and tell us exactly what's going to happen, but they do try and facilitate that future for us as well. If I had to describe Camford in one word, it would probably be busy, but in a good way because there's lots of different things to do. Um, for example, I really enjoy my drama and also sport and there's so many different activities you can do and throw yourself into that if you, if you choose to do so and if you are a busy person who likes to keep yourself busy, there's so much selection um, and I think Camford's one of those places where you really need to grasp the opportunity to do stuff and you'll really enjoy it.